Because you're a con man living in a different country to the people you're just trying to scam, just trying to clone Tom Birch at this point. Now let me give you two options and you decide which one's realistic and which one you think is true. I had three corporate jobs. As you can see there, at St. Mary's University, I was an immigrations officer. Over there, I was a BA apprentice, business admin, and over there, I was a compliance officer. What that page group, a UK FTSE top 100 company. And on the side, I started my own business, Amazon FBA. Here are all my parcels and products. This was two years ago, keep in mind now, keep that date in mind. Then that started doing really well, 11K in about seven days here. So I left my full-time job and did that full-time. So I just started traveling around Europe full-time. Here's me in Italy. Here's me eating grapes in Prague. And I just managed my business whilst traveling around Europe. This clearly says employee training document. It's for my pickers and packers. And oh, my business, Klein Industry LTD. A publicly listed company that is still active today. That was founded, oh look, when two years ago, a month before I showed you the other picture of all my boxes and stuff. And the nature of business, retail sale, not education, aka courses of mentorships. And I literally just paid my taxes 30th of June, 2023. There you go. Then I got bored of traveling around Europe for a year. So I went and traveled around Asia for a year. Here's me in Hong Kong. Here's me looking like fucking Batman with the Malaysian twin towers in the background. The Patronus towers, whatever the fuck you pronounce them. But by the way, Malaysia, hello overrated. All while still working and managing my Amazon business because I've managed to automate it and do it all online. So there is my dashboard. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me zoom in. Oh, would you look at that? Richard.Klein at KleinIndustry.com, sales, £160,000. There you go. And then you can see all the rest of my figures there. And that is from, you can't see the period there, about like a 10 month span, under a 10 month span. Keep in mind, I haven't started doing social media yet. This entire two years of traveling, I just hired an editor to like, I send them some of my videos from travel. So she just made shitty little montage clips like that, that didn't get any views. I didn't sell anything. It was just me posting my videos from travels and some girl was editing them for me. And in December 2022, I flew my mum out to Bali because it's her dream holiday destination for my sister's birthday. That's my little family. Let's go. I'm not sure if you can see that, but look, in December, from the 1st to the 31st of December, 35,000 euros in sales. It ended up making about 12,000 euros in profit in one month, whilst in Bali celebrating my sister's birthday, and I was literally just getting pissed up every day in Bali, but it's Bali. And then I got bored about traveling around Asia, so I moved to Thailand. There's me and my jacuzzi as my friend. And yeah. Obviously, after two years of posting about traveling, especially for my Instagram, my private story, like my Instagram sees everything. Like TikTok is just the tip of the iceberg. People start wondering, yo, how the fuck do you travel like full time for two years at 19, 20? So my first Amazon FBA students were actually my friends. There you go. Came out to Thailand after his FBA money. So yeah. That's why I only do private one-to-one -one mentorships. If I was in it for the money, I'd do group mentorships or courses where I can get a load of people on. No, I only take on like four or five people at a time and only pay myself minimum wage to do it. Like, it's not viable. <laughs> or I'm just a con man scamming everyone just trying to be like Tom Birchie. So I somehow faked all of this. I don't know. Like I, I somehow did social media all the way at the start two years ago to afford all this traveling stuff. And my, my company's fake. And fucking everything's fake. I don't exactly know how that, how would I possibly justify my life for the past two, three years if it wasn't for Amazon FBA? Like, that's my question to you.